Hi, I'm Debbie Drum and welcome to another episode of Debbie Does, where I give you insights of what I am working on in my online business to gain more exposure and sell more products and help you do the same. In this episode, Debbie Does Documenting. Let's get to it. Okay, so documenting. The topic of documenting is very important, especially when you've been marketing online or you're starting to market and develop a lot of skills, okay? Now there's two main reasons why documenting is super important. I'm gonna get to that. But first I wanna show you what I mean, okay? So obviously documenting is writing down or taking notes on certain things, right? Certain topics, right? So Anything that you're doing online that requires a lot of steps, like maybe something that you have to do that you need to do 10 things all the time, okay? And if you, if you miss one of those steps, then the whole thing won't work, all right? So there's reasons why you wanna document. And some of the things that I document are like installing a WordPress site, okay? Now obviously, there's more steps in just installing a WordPress site. So I have to do stuff on my server side. I have to change my DNS. I have to buy a domain. I have to um, install WordPress. I need to install some specific plugins, okay? And all these things are steps in the whole entire process to get the whole process working, okay? So if I leave something out, something is, is not gonna work and the whole thing is not gonna function, okay? Another example of what I document is like formatting a book. Formatting a Kindle book is different than formatting a uh, CreateSpace book. They both have different steps and settings, okay? And rather me having to go through a million different things, I document on one sheet and it's like a checklist. I go down the checklist and I know exactly what to do when I don't have to think, okay? Another example is creating like a PDF, creating a product, things like that. What, what are the steps that you need to do to get that project done, okay? So that's what documenting is. And the easiest way to document that I have found is you probably already guessed it because I talk about this all the time. If you don't know me, you will know that I talk about this all the time moving forward, is Google Docs, okay? So go ahead over to your Google account. Obviously you need a Google account and create a new doc. This is actually a doc that you're looking at. It's um, Google Slides. So you can document on slides, you can document on a regular Google Doc, you can also document on Google Spreadsheets. And the beautiful thing about this is you don't have to um, search for it on your computer, you just go over to Google Docs and you search for the keywords like name the document over here, like I named this document Debbie Does. And of course the beautiful thing about Google is that you can search for keywords and you know if you name your things accordingly you'll be able to find things very very quickly okay so that is very important all right so the two main reasons why you want to document and start documenting processes today it doesn't take very long start doing it number one is because like I said earlier you're learning a lot of skills and what's gonna happen is you're gonna forget little things, okay? And so what I, I like to call this protecting your future self. So the future me of six months is gonna thank the me today because I documented everything that needs to go into a process like formatting a book because that's something that I'm always gonna need to do and that's something that number two, I can teach somebody else how to do it, okay? So I can share that document. Let's say I'm coaching somebody. 
I could share that document with them. Let's say that I am outsourcing this. I want to outsource this in the future. I document the whole entire process and I could share that with an outsourcer and now they can completely do the job for me. Okay. Um, to take documentation a step further and I really think that it's worth it is to do something like make videos that aren't, you know, that the whole world doesn't have access to. We talked about video hosting in the last episode. Um, you can make videos on YouTube. You could, you know, host your videos privately and document on those, um, whatever, you know, you want to document, do it on video because then you can just watch that quick video, remind yourself how to do something and just do it without wasting hours upon hours trying to figure it out again. You're like, wait, what was that step? What did I do? How did I get that working? Trust me, you will waste so much time. Save your future self and start documenting today. So I hope you enjoyed this episode of Debbie Does. I will see you on the next one.